Hello again, this is Brent, and today we're going to take a look at how to use the new guidance line tool in the Trimlag software. The new enhancement to this tool will allow you to create and modify guidance lines with a whole new level of precision. So let's jump in and take a look. First, we're going to take a look at how you can create a guidance line from scratch. After entering the existing guidance line tab from the Crop Zones GIS menu, you will see a new button located in the top right corner called Add Guidance Line. Once clicked, you will then have the option of creating a new AB line, A plus line, or curve. Let's start with the AB lines. There are two new ways you can proceed when creating a new AB line. First, you can enter the latitude and longitude of your A and B points in the panel to the right side. Second, you have the option of manually drawing the guidance lines on the map by clicking the A and B point locations. Now we all know that accuracy is key with guidance lines. So to help you have confidence in the lines that you're drawing in the Trimblag software, we have included a snapping feature in this tool that will allow you to use existing boundary lines for reference. To start, simply hover over the desired vertex point in your boundary until you see a hand icon. Click to snap your A point to that location and then repeat the process to create your B point. From there, you can then define any desired offset for the AB line. If you make a mistake, you can either click the Cancel button to start over, or click the Undo button at the bottom right corner of the mapping screen to go back a step. Once you have your initial AB line created, there are a few other things you can modify before saving. You can offset the line in either direction again, by entering a number in the offset section and then click the arrow for which direction you want it offset in. And you can also edit the name of the guidance line. Once satisfied, you can then click Save to save your new AB line. For A plus lines, you have similar options as we previously went over to identify your A point. You can then either click on the map in the direction for your A plus line or enter a degree from 0 to 360 in the heading text box. You then have the same options to enter a name for the A plus line. The curve feature works differently than the first two options. Curved guidance lines must use the boundary as a foundation for creating curves so you will notice that you must use boundary vertices to create one. All you need to do is click the start and end vertice along the boundary and the curve line will be created for you. You then have the same options as you did with the previous two methods to offset the curve and enter a name for the curve. Along with the creation tool, there were a few other additions to the guidance line feature that we wanted to touch on. First, the screen for editing your guidance line name has changed. It now shows a few other details like type, created date, and length. And lastly, when you create an offset from an existing guidance line, there are parameters to consider in a new pop out window involving implement with. And that's how you use the new guidance line tool in the Trimble Egg software.